He's size and arm talent. He looks the part of a Stanford quarterback. And a new, little bit of a new look for the card. Interesting is he, he's, he's making a read off the safety. A long ride, reads the safety who comes up. Now this is all new, like you said. Week against Colgate and first play, they go to it. E.J. Smith. Patience quite a bit. They empty it out. E.J. Smith at the top of your screen. McKee firing down the middle. Almost intercepted and it is picked up by Max Williams. He's still on his feet. Ed Williams is finally 6'6 middle linebacker. But I think his height and his wingspan causes this ball to have to go over top of him. And by doing that, the ball is thrown a little high, making him extend. I'm on the beautiful campus of Stanford University, ABC Saturday Night Football, the Cardinal and USC. SC already up 7 0. That hype, they go on the board first here to go up seven. Blackman coming over from Colorado called for the foul. Yeah, and, and again, another run pass option. Talked a little earlier because of their skill and who they have at quarterback and receiver. That is a terrific cut from Smith. E.J. Smith rumbling. But it, you're going to get good blocks in here. The linebackers, I think, get confused here because 87 archers. Looks like he's going here. A lot of times that's going to bring the ball that way, but instead they go back to the backside behind that, and the linebackers are out of position. Give again to Smith. Good running room over the in recent years. How do they respond to this adversity? So far, they've looked great. Casey Filkins now in the game. He's looking at. He's trying to determine. Watch how long the mesh. Watch the quarterback and the running back. Long mesh. Read him. He drops. You hand it off. He comes down. You pull it. And you're going to throw the ball to the receiver to the left. Again, the long, slow. Would transition well to what he has to work with here on this Stanford roster. This time straight pass. McKee pressured and he's that ball out. You see a blitz here, it gets picked up. But what, what I recognize is there's nobody to throw the ball to. You know, eventually they're able to get home, but basically take the sack. First chance to convert a third down tonight. Dave got it to Smith. Smith inside the 20, trying to hey, Smith. EJ's got it again. He's got a first. And now you have to be worried about what, what EJ Smith can do running the football. And it's some wearing that familiar number 22 catching the pass just like that with a first and goal. Yeah, he's showing a little bit of everything tonight. Can a backer get to him? You gotta you gotta try to get out there and play man to man. A tough ask by Shane Lee. Good here for the Cardinal. They bring a fullback into the game with Jay Simmons. Going back to EJ Smith. EJ not finding in. F SC, everybody wants to know how physical can SC be, right? That's all you hear. We know they got Caleb Williams when they, they got all these transfers, all these great athletes. Half roll on second down. McKee being chased back in the end zone. Touch incomplete. Yep, so it's third and goal. EJ Smith split to the bottom of your screen. McKee, plenty of time, firing high and took him away. He's going to work to the outside and into the inside. Problem is, you got two SC defenders that are there. Linebacker kind of sinking, safety that's kind of bracketing him, trying to take that away. No chance. McKee, slow mesh, little flip, batted into the air. Another interception. It's picked up by Makai Blackman. And Interceptions by USC. You think Alex Grinch, the new defensive coordinator, is going to be proud of that? Great effort there by Blackman, who's another transfer. Emmett Smith, I'm geeking out down here. <laughs> Holly, that's one of the things Lincoln Riley's done. He's brought back a lot of the former Trojans. They're still over there communicating, making sure that they're ready for that next series. McKee pulls it, completes it to Elijah. Hig Gives Higgins a chance there to pick up the first. E.J. Smith turns the corner and huge yards. McKee pulls it, taking a shot. Defensive approach from David Shaw. That's an appearance. The Number mesh six. is here, but his eyes Defense. are here. That's Slow mesh, read that safety. He's coming That's down. Automatic. Now you've got a one-on-one -on -one that you're trying to hit. He comes off that handoff. Puts it up in the air, he ends up getting the interference, but that's pretty tight coverage there. And that's, you know, it still feels like. More traditional looking Stanford formation. Pull back in and they'll go on the end around. Eurosec getting at the big tight end. Is rumbling into the open 
field. Hurusek inside the 20. He gets inside. Right away, they think attack, attack, attack. And instead, it's the tight end that's going to come around to the other side. They're coming downhill to stop that run, potentially for me, Jay Smith. A really good hustle there by Nugent, the center. A 50 yard run from Euros to the end zone. Jay Simmons in front of Smith. Smith looking for a hole. And he is met. Fence and give credit to the defensive line for protecting him. Let him be free. He can get through that. All that traffic and is able to slow. Third and goal. McKee's got a man out there. It is Smith and miscue here. You, Smith out here. You got man to man in here. This linebacker has got to run with 22 Smith. He starts to, then he stops, and then there's nobody out in the flat. Easy seven. Stanford. Been able to control the ball some. A bit of a shoulder issue, and it appears that he took a shot that'll slow him down again. That's slow. He's going to bring a corner blitz from the boundary. So that's one way to take away the slow mesh. Slow mesh. He gives it. Safeties are back. Thinks it's institutional requirements sometimes limit the ability in the transfer portal, and it has for Stanford. And McKee converts that. 21-7. Cardinal had a couple of turnovers, but they've really moved the ball when they're doing it again with EJ Smith, who is. But USC not very sound here on this play. It's not, it's not as if it's like great execution up front. It was more of just an opening out. USC needs to tighten up the edges. McKee pulls it. Wide open man is Ben Yu for the tight end. So he's going to have mesh here, which will affect the backers, and then he's able to hit that right behind. Watch the mesh. Backers are coming downhill. Opens it up very nicely right behind it. I'm going to Caleb Williams in that SC offense. McKee back to work. Has a man out there. Space Jam, actor and cornerback. McKee, quarterback. That one was is all set now. They really need to keep this alive and try to score the touchdown. They'll try it right now. Back shot. And using the size, he's 6'4", going up against Blackman, who's got decent size. He gets very, he's been handsy all night, but the back shoulder puts it right on his receiver. And they are fortunate case. That big, powerful offensive line, strong running backs, always good at it. McKee. Dumps it underneath him. His uh, his receiver, big really actually the big tight end, a chance, and he he had another receiver, Humphreys five out in front. If Humphreys would have been tough, but if he could have turned after that catch. Third down run with Smith. Smith. Oh, the football's low. Turnover inside the five yard line for Stanford. He sells this great. Does everything you need. He waits for the hold open, and there he is, right there. Heck of a hit by Max Williams. Puts his shoulder pads on the ball. And it's the NFL and college, and, and fun stories about about it all. And we worked really hard, and we enjoyed each other's company, uh, and, and, and we made we made the most of our. I'm not sure it's on on TV, including Tar Vanderveer, one of the great coaches of all time in the sport of basketball, and the worldwide superstar Neko Ugomike, who was my classmate. Uh, Tower Vanderveer will won a national championship despite all of the restrictions that Stanford had imposed due to COVID-19. Tanner McKee. It's kind of been the theme, right, all night. The backers kind of get caught up here. Nobody's able to get home. Good job by Tanner McGee. He's hit a couple quick passes during that interview. Now he sees it just opens up. Man-to-man -man coverage. Nobody accounting for the turnovers have come in the red zone. Come goal-to-go situations. McKee. Throwing it out. Oh, and he had to think a little bit about what's going to happen after the catch. He gets caught up here and then releases. Nobody there. SC blows the assignment. He'd love to have that one back, I'm sure. E.J. Smith to the ground and round line. Twice they've turned the football over. Smith, who fumbled it the last nighter up the middle. Just a little bit, step or two slow. That time again inside that tempo. Get to Smith. He's got an alley, and this the Cardinal getting back in it. Watch the right side open things up here. Emmett Smith, patience, patience, and then he sees that opening. Follows the block there by Miles Hinton. First asking us, when was the last time they were on the field? That's too easy, though. There's, there's no really there's no playoff with that, though. That's a, I want to give you a little history <laughs> and add a little bear. I'm not sure that's fair, but I'm just visiting tonight, so <laughs> I'll let you I'll let you guys settle that out. Hold it so many times to throw. And it's opened up some big running lanes. And the Trojans get with some movement. 
That time it worked out. McKee. And oh, all is in the lumber. Perfect there. timing. Let's take a listen to this. This is why you hit. Clean. Ooh. That's beautiful. Wilkins, no. One of those backs at left is Austin Jones playing for SC. We've seen him carry the ball tonight. So McKee, his first throw of the second half. Being able to slow it down, at least between the between the 20s anyway. Nice one-handed grab by Eurostick. This is an athletic tight end. We saw yards after the catch. Need three on third down. Wilkins cuts back. Stanford player to do it since Christian McCaffrey in 2016. He had a catch out of the backfield. Oklahoma, as you said, coming back in, see if you can go. All right, Holly and McKee, 18 carries so far. McKee almost got hit in the back. He throws a backward pass to Smith, and there are a lot of Trojans there to stop him. And the ball went on the ground again. SC picks it up, and they take sticks. That's the eighth turnover they've created in a couple games. Fourth touchdown. Fourth defensive touchdown. If it, again it stands. Yeah, now. three pick sixes last yeah. week. Here it so, is. So, he, I mean, it, it happened. We're gonna have to have to obviously. Wisconsin. Pittsburgh and Tennessee played an overtime barn burner right before us. Elijah Higgins has it as a first down. I'm not waiting for a team or two to lose in front. Well, even at the top, I moved Georgia to the top of the rankings last week. Yeah. He's past. The key can't find anybody to throw it to, and he's Williams and company. They have been dynamic on offense all night. Stanford going to the ground. Oh, Ashton Daniels is in a quarterback and he takes this highly touted quarterback prospect. Spent two years on a Mormon mission, sort of finding his way. Keep going after him because they like these matchups inside release and watch the jersey grab. On the other side, they're the left. Blazing speed, they have to beat you with size, physicality. And the third PI that have been called on Blackman. Could impair his throwing motion. String man's been through a lot. Holly oh, has, and we were delighted to hear about the sunscreen. Tanner just got married. He's a competitive dude. Is he on second and six? Time to time tonight. It shows you the toughness here from Tanner McGee. Sitting here, hadn't been a great night, but look at this. He knows what's coming in, right? He's been getting pressure, pressure, and he's looking right here. Makes a really good throw knowing he's about to get hit. They'll go to Philkins, and Philkins is not. They get inside that 10-yard that, uh, line. It's like a different defensive line. They get dominated for the most part, and next thing you know, they're blowing people up front when they get down and inside that 10. McKee pulls it, throws it toward. Been exceptional at that in the first two games. Pilkins has it, trying to get it to the goal. Fourth and goal. Cardinal trying to get another one in. Pilkins has it, and he got drilled right at the goal line. Late, right before Pilkins is able to get to the goal line, he kind of shoots that and pushes him. I thought he, if he could have wrapped up, he might have been able to prevent. You know what you got going on in Lincoln, Nebraska right now? Former USC Clay coach Helton. Clay Health in Georgia Southern, in the Georgia Southern job before the season was over last year and got accustomed and. Maybe having a big moment in Lincoln, what, but what's going to win them all? It's fine. Gilmore's brother had the clinching play in that game with a pick six. McKee. Plan to play action and RPO that's worked for him. Dumps it off underneath. Bill Mark Stoops. Mark Stoops underappreciated for the job that he's done at Kentucky and I kick maybe we have a finish yeah well, well Shane Sh Shane Lee blitzing from the linebacker and that, that has been one of the answers that Alex Grinch has come up with and this time it's been see how physical he can be working through that block from the back McKee for the desperation rally or at the very least some window dressing McKee puts it up called on them one of the frustrating things it's the size advantage you know it's, it's not the speed but the ball being thrown up higher to stay up but still SC's going to probably work a lot on technique this week on one-on-one -on -one coverage McKee a hold of the jersey off to the left of your screen once he once he starts to work over the cross the middle he just grabs onto that jersey official and the PIs been six of them tonight, Kirk, against the Trojans. And McKee. 
<laughs> it's kind of a... Un- it's a delay. Un- yeah, just like, oh, oh you're going to win game day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all. I think it's great. Good for them. You think they're... That'll be fun. It's going to be a blast. Can't wait to get there. Troy will be the opponent. A talented young man, but you, I think you're going to see he's he's going to find the other offensive leave him on an island. People are going to go after him, try to beat him or get the interference call. They had to get in a hurry. He's able to stop that clock with the first down. Here's McKee has to get it to Falcons. He'd be wide to head to the side. Certainly many others depending on what their interest might be. Just wanting to make sure. But great to see him. Just a true USC Trojan. You know, this team has talked about through it. And they've said the guys that are still on this team, they're all buying in. It's a great amount of team this year. You know, because what it means to be a Trojan. Fourth and 13. McKee getting pressured and down. Last five trips here will come out with a victory. Yeah, he, he's just kind of sitting and waiting. You know, we talked about how you got to keep eyes on McGee. He's sitting there initially concerned about.